your office is anything like ours, you may be coming down with one of those September colds. Oh, they're the worst, right? People sniffling and sneezing. Some new research revealing now why some people seem to catch colds easier than others. And I wonder about this all the time, right? There are certain people who just, you feel bad for them because they <laughs> mm -hmm. seem to get it every year. Yeah, and then there's some people that seem to never, ever get a cold. And you wonder, is there, is it, Solely their immune system. Do they not have it? small children? Right. How are they not <laughs> sick? That has something to do with it. Yeah. But it's interesting. This study shows there's actually a link between your environment mm -hmm. and catching a cold. Because I wondered how much of this, like you said, was mm -hmm. immune system. Right. Or, but it does seem, and, and we don't know. This doesn't like cancel out no. other theories. Mm -hmm. Right. But it does say the researchers did find that say you're a smoker. Mm -hmm. Your body is essentially a multitasking, uh, magnificent machine. Mm -hmm. But the same cells that are fighting off the negative impact of, say, smoke, whether it's cigarette or wildfire yeah. or whatever, it's the same cells that have to fight the cold. It's almost like those cells, they're not good multitaskers. Yeah. They can only they do one, one thing yeah. at one time. Mm -hmm. And so if you are fighting off that smoke or even pollen, allergies, that sort of thing, it mm -hmm. can't fight the cold virus and so you get sick. Because mm -hmm. it's interesting the way that it works. It's, it's a little bit gross, but what it is is the cells that are in your nasal passages they, once the virus comes in there, those cells will actually stop the virus from getting up further. But it's those same cells that try and stop the pollen, that try and stop any smoke that might have come in from the wildfires, try and stop any pollution. And, those, and the pollen and the pollution and the cigarette smoke are stronger and they're going to take over the, that's been a bit more susceptible to the, let that virus kind of sneak in. So you have to wonder in. if, you know, states like California or Utah yeah. or Arizona, where they have these wildfires more mm -hmm. often, if they Everyone just sell just a ton yeah. of Sudafed or, you know. Right, like, right. Or when we had yeah. the impact of the smoke from the Canadian sure. wildfires. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I would be interested even anecdotally to find right. out if a lot of people picked up colds during mm -hmm. that time. Yeah. So I've had a cold for three weeks. Yep. Um, we and I got it, I know, <laughs> and, and I got it that's at great. the state fair because uh, my youngest son sneezed directly into my open mouth. Oh, I love when that happens. Uh, you just see it coming your way. Couldn't do anything Horrible. about it. Um, so mm -hmm. were, were my nasal passages fighting off like the general state fairness yes. already? Ooh, yeah. yes. And then I wasn't able to handle the extra <laughs> germs. Possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's Thank a really you, good theory. Yeah, yeah. Also, if someone sneezes the cold directly. <laughs> yeah, right. right. Yeah. It's yeah. tough to avoid that one. Don't have much of a chance. <laughs>